Alright, hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome to Koromon. I have not recorded anything in way too long. Frankly, a really long time. Sorry about that. Um, kind of had some motivation issues for a while there. But, decided to get back in the saddle because the, uh, the team behind this game reached out to me and said, Hey, would you like a, a, a free key to play a game? It looks pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, sure. So many thanks to the devs. Uh, the, the game is made by Freedom Games and uh, Tragsoft. So definitely some love to them for reaching out. Definitely it feels really cool to get asked. Honestly, I don't, it doesn't happen very often, so it's very cool. Um, the game is a JRPG similar to Pokemon in many respects. They cite uh, Pokemon Platinum as one of the primary inspirations of the game. It is a creature catching game with some very cool art from what I've seen of it. So we're gonna jump right into it. Ah, yes. Sleeping. Who doesn't love sleeping? Oh, oh, hello? Yes? Can I help you? They're coming right on in. Alright, who is it? Who we got? Oh, Jesus, thud. Get out of bed. Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Don't close your eyes again. Today is your first day of work at Lux Solace. Lux Solace. Uh, Lux is, what, light? I think it's Solace is, like, souls of the sun, I guess. Light, light sun. Hmm. Sounds 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 shiny. Why don't you put on something nice? You want to make, make 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 a good first impression. That is true. We do want to do that. Ah, okay. Hello. Here I am. This is me. I'm far too pale. That 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 is true. Ooh, a little of our fancy duds. What we got that. Mm, no. Uh. Some some, some some plaid. Ooh, a lovely dress. Look. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. No. Uh. Ooh. 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 That's the ticket right there. Black and red. You guys know me. I do. I, I, I have I have a very edgy color wheel. I do have glasses. It is true. Uh, hair. Mohawk. No. Oh no. Not 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 for me. I don't think. Uh, cowlick. No. I think I think I don't think the the, the fall is probably fine. Honestly. Oh, facial hair. Cool. Oh, the beards are kind of big though. Ah oh, yes, I love when my beard goes down to my feet. <laughs> Oh, this one! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> it's like, is there even a human being behind this beard? Maybe. Ah, I love it. Okay, um, let's just go with some, with some, with some, with some basic floof. Hmm? Should you just fine? Ooh, okay. Uh, hair color. Of course, you got your various shades. Red is good. Purple. Blue. It's a very blue with the beard. It's very blue. Guess we'll just go with red. Red is good. I like red. Maybe maybe like getting it giving it like like a little more a little more shape to it. I don't know. Uh a little bit of beard, I don't know. <laughs> Longer beard. Oh yes. Uh, I don't know. Like Ah yes, the the lovely mustache. No, uh Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's fine. I don't know. Like, how 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 old am I supposed to be anyway? I guess if you have a beard like that, we're not we're, we 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 aren't we aren't a ten year old. Uh, I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I think because like usually I, I I have a terrible habit of getting lost in these in these these character makers forever. So headphones, hat, uh, bandana. Let's go with let's go, uh, ooh frog. Hmm. That's cute. Uh, let's go with uh, the headphones. It looks looks look, it looks reasonable. You look great. I sure do. And your name? Well, uh, for Pokemon games, I'm often Pokemat. Let's go with Coromat. That'll work. Looking good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Oops, hello. Nope. So, so you can change what you look like as well. Cool. Oh, one thing I, I noticed as well uh, in, in was going through, through the settings before I started recording was one, worth, worth worth mentioning. Besides having all these neat little like you know all your customizing options, which is nice. Uh, down the bottom, they had a tip for streamers, which was how to configure, like, just kind of give you some some suggestions how to uh, configure your OBS and stuff, so, so it runs smoothly. And I appreciate that, so that's nice. Um, swirmy rush, flappy swirmy. Pardon? Oh, it has like mini games. Oh, cool. Okay. I guess a swirmy is like is like is like, is like a bug Coromon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I failed immediately. Uh, no, that's good. I, I, I might come back and play it later, but for now, let, let's stay on task. Ooh, shiny thing. What's this? Oh, the pocket money I've been saving. Now's the time to use it. 500 gold. Hey! <gasps> Companion cube! I still remember the, the day I won this poster. It was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. 
Gotta love a good portal reference. Uh, can change your clothes. Nice. All right. Hello. This must be must be, must be mom's room. It's mom in her younger years. She's so pretty. Hmm. Cool. Uh, let's not invade her privacy too much though at the moment. We got stuff to do. Places to go. Hello. Who are you? Is this is, is, is this our dad playing games? I broke your swarming rush high, high score last night. You mean my score of 17? Haha, <laughs> beaten, by, beaten by a little bro. Oh, he's, he's, he's our brother. <gasps> we have a sibling. I mean, I guess that makes more sense. Like, you almost never have a dad in, in, in these games. Well, Gen 3 had a dad. Good morning. Good morning, Karmat. You're looking sharp. Why, thank you. You must be so excited. You're finally going to become a Lux Solus battle researcher. Ooh, researcher. Cool, okay. As the, I guess that kind of answers our question as to how old we are. We're not like just some ram 10 year old. To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can head there before going to the station. Yes! I'm getting French toast and you can't stop me. Come on! Dexter, dear, please keep an eye on the cakes in the oven. Okay, mom. Okay, mom. Like, jeez. Is he actually going to like look at them? Cakes. Not, not done though, huh? That's all he says. Is just okay. He he he's really happy about that high score. Okay, well, fair enough. A delicious breakfast later. Yes, breakfast. Oh, we got like the hooded twins there. What's up with that? Purple hair, yellow hair, some various characters. So here we are, Karmat, at the starting line of your own adventure. Look at you all grown up and choosing your own path in life. A little sad to see you go, though. I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working for Lux Solus. I know you're. I know you're ready for this. That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day so you don't have to worry about gold. Oh, here you go. Don't spend all in one place. Three grand. Oh my goodness. Come on, with the five hundred we had before, we're just we're, we're just rolling it now. Thanks, mom. That's very sweet of you. I'll make good use of it. I'm glad to hear that, honey. Man, she likes us. She cares. It's nice. Oh, look. I can see the train approaching. It's a very quiet train. Must be like a, like a, like a, like a maglev or whatever. You, you have, you have everything that you'll need? Your backpack? Your ticket? Clean underwear? Yes, mom. That's, that's, isn't, I think that's a reference to, uh, to original Pokemon as well. Because, uh, Ash's mom is always after mode is clean underwear too. Don't worry, Mom. I'm old enough to take care of myself. The train is about, about to depart. You better get on before it leaves without you. But first, big hug! Hug. Bye, Mom. Goodbye. Oh, she's sad. Goodbye, dear. No. Oh. It's nice It's, it's nice that she cares, though, you know? I mean, I guess all... I, I mean, yeah. All right, quiet train, fly, uh, fly, well, slides past some flappy birds. I gotta say, I love the pixel art in this game so far too. It's 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 very clean, very crisp. Oh, fall that guy! Update prologue. Yay! Oh, we have like a little dust cloud when we, when we run. That's cute. Anything here? Anything here? No. Okay. My RPG senses. Compel me to look for loot. Ah, must be their their uh, their logo. An L, and I guess that's the sun. Lux Solus makes sense. <gasps> Floating globe. Floating globe. How does this even work? Looks difficult. Oh, okay. At Lux Solus, we offer trainers the opportunity to customize their experience. Most trainers pick, pick the normal difficulty, but selecting a high difficulty could be worth the challenge. Ah, okay. Somebody's coffee. Motivation in a bug! And then it's just this computer just sitting here in this unreachable, unreachable location. Oh, well, that's fine. Hello, and, uh, and welcome to the Lux Solus Campus. How may, how may I assist you? Hi, my name is Cormat. I'm starting out as, as a battle researcher today. A new, uh, a new colleague? How lovely. I think you'll have a wonderful time working for Lux Solus. Please give me a, a, a moment while I check your registration. Aha, I see. So we still need to know your preferred difficulty. With this, we can personalize your adventure. Most trainers use the normal difficulty, which I would recommend for the regular experience. Take this handbook and read it well. It explains the differences of each difficulty in detail. 
Cool. All right, I read it carefully. What we got? Trainers looking for a challenge may consider using a difficulty other than the normal difficulty. But what, what what exactly does that entail? This book will explain all the rules for the different difficulties. If you still can't decide after reading this book, I just recommend you just choose normal. Fair enough. Uh, easy, of course, is for those who want to take it easy. Koromon will, will, will fully restore their HP when they level up, which cuts down on backtracking. Shop items are 50% cheaper, so you can stock up on those healing items. And when your Koromon faints, you don't need to use, use a particular revive item. You can just use any healing cake. Yeah, so nice and easy. Normal, just regular stuff. Hard. If one of your Koromon faints, it will leave your squad. Oh, some Nuzlocke stuff. He in the call of the wild, it returns to its habitat. You can't escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. Ooh, insane. Uh, so this also, so it, it adds the the rules from hard. So um, fainting makes the, makes it makes the Koromon leave leave your party, and you can't escape. It also adds in you can't use any recall items, forcing you to travel through Koromon habitats. You only catch one Koromon in each area using using the Lux lore. If it faints, you're out of luck. Though you're free to capture any perfect Koromon. Perfect. Okay, I guess it's like shiny, maybe. But that those are some very, very Nuzlocke-esque rules, which is kind of cool, actually. It's neat, neat that they have those work work right into the game. Oh, the of course, the computer. It looks difficult. It's where you pick the difficulty. Ha. Okay. All right. Uh, custom. Oh, you can even like figure. You you you, you can even like adjust the rules yourself. That's cool. Okay. For right for right now, we're just gonna take a preset difficulty. We'll just go with 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 uh, with, with uh, normal. That's fine. That's cool, though. I, 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 I like that they give you that option to, like, customize it however you want. That's nice. I've made all the, all the necessary adjustments for you. You can return to the computer at any time to change change your difficulty. Great. Before we continue, would you tell me if you, if you followed a Lux Souls trainer course before? Uh, nope. This is my first visit. Thank you. Every battle researcher requires a gauntlet in order to carry Koromon safely around the... Valua? You have several color variations from which you can choose. One moment, please. Oh, oh, is there a red one? We have the Gela Blue variant, the Patterbit Green variant, and last but not least, the Infinix Red variant. Yes, the ticket. Please choose the one you like most. Uh, heck yeah. Oh, you, you, you can preview too. It's a nice touch too, actually. I wonder, can I use the mouse to like turn? Oh, you can. You can see yourself from the side too. That's a nice. That's 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 a nice feature too. But no, um, I am A-OK -okay with the red. Thank you. You look great. I sure do. Gauntlet. So we have like a, what, like a, like a, just a big, big, big metal glove? It's kind of awesome, actually. That, that definitely, that definitely uh, appeals to the, to the, to the, to the, the small child in me that, 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 that love watching Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, like those like dual discs they had? I wanted one so badly. Heck yeah. Good choice. That one goes well with your eyes. Aw, well thank you. That's nice of you. Please take this Lux Recall RC. This state-of-the-art device allows for a streamlined training experience. Okay, seems fancy. Your first stop will be the Koromon Lab, where Gideon will help you get started. You can find him in the next building over. Have fun and shine bright! <gasps> cool. Alright. Off to a promising start. What do we got here? Welcome to Lux Solus Campus, where rookies become professionals. Yeah! Hello, sir. Hmm? Want some advice for, for a new battle researcher? Well, I once forgot where I had to go for my quest. Then I remembered I could check my logbook in the menu to see where I had to go. Keep that in mind if you get lost. I will. Cormon Lab. Aha! <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Uh, you must be the new battle researcher I've, had, I've heard so much about. Gideon is the one that will get you up to speed. Let me fetch him for you. Thank you. And let's see. He has, he has a, a green gauntlet. Mm, it looks like getting his out for lunch, but no worries. I'm gonna, I, 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 I gonna take a, a quick break. Get you everything you need. To follow me, please. Okay. First of all, let, let, let me grab you a data chip. Ooh, data chip. What does that do? I don't know. Does something. It's data e. The data chip is a nifty chip for your gauntlet that will record every Koromon related action you take. All the data is sent back to us, where it is analyzed right here in this very lab. As an incentive for sending us oodles of interesting data, you'll be rewarded handsomely, of course. Ooh, okay, cool. See, this is one of those things I wish we had in real life. Like, just, just, like, go train some random monsters and we'll pay you for it. Like, just go have fun and, and make money. Like, yes, absolutely. I'm in. Milestones and, and promotion bonuses can be redeemed right in your menu. Isn't that handy? Oh, because it's a gauntlet. It's handy. Oh, all right, let's move on. 
Pretty simple stuff, really. I'm sure you figure it out. Figure, figure, figure all of it out as you get more comfortable at your at your job. All right, all right. You're almost good to go. But you wouldn't get far without our generous employee starter package. Oh. Six spinners. That must be the Pokeballs. HP cake small. SP cake small. Lux recall. Type manual. Ah, very helpful. The type manual in there will be especially invaluable throughout your journey. I was just taking a quick gand at it before starting out. Okay, we got one, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen types. Yeah. Uh, oh, but these are only, it says skill only for the last six. Okay. Magic, foul, heavy, air, and poison, and cut, sorry, are all skill only for the last six of them. Okay. Uh, two times damage to moon. What is moon? Ghost. Okay, so normal, electric, ghost, sand, fire, ice, water, magic, foul, heavy, air, poison, and cut. Some of those are a little, a little, a little, a little, a little odd, but all right. Looks like the skill only ones each are good against one thing and bad against one thing, so that's a little simplified, I guess. And all the rest of them are, are a bit more complicated. Huh. Uh, normal. Isn't good against anything, just like, just, like, just like in Pokemon. It takes double damage from poison. That's poison. Uh, it, ta it does ha it takes half from ghosts and does half to ghosts. So there's no like immunity then in this game. Okay. Electric is good against water. Um, does less damage to was it sand? Sand. Takes more from cut though. Okay. All right. Well, it seems like. Most types are only good against one thing. Oh, no, well, not water. Water's good against two things. Water's good against sand and fire. But it also takes double damage from more things. Uh, it takes double damage from uh, lightning, foul, and ice. So water is actually a somewhat offensive type in this. That's interesting. But it also takes, it takes half damage from three things, which seems kind of standard, I guess. Standard-ish. Uh, ice actually has a really good defensive profile. Takes half from poison, water, uh, was it wind, I guess? And it's, uh, oh, and itself, but still. Huh, neat. Anyway, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll get the hang of it as we go. Well then, I know how excited you must be to get on your, to get your very own Coromon. Nelson will provide you with, with one downstairs. That's pretty much it for me. I, I must get back to work now. New trades don't discover themselves, you know. That's true, they probably don't. All right. Downstairs we go. Okay, uh, Coromon, where? Hey, hey, where? Oh, that smell. What's that smell? It's newbies. The smell of a starry-eyed battle researcher here to receive their first Coromon. Just hold tight a moment while I finish up up in the Coromon connectifier. Connectifier? Cool. Okay. That should do it. Let me introduce myself. I'm Nelson, head of the Coromon Lab. Let's connect you to a Coromon. We'll run a series of tests to find the one which is most suited to your personality. I can't wait. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, let, like, let me add him. Let's go. That's the enthusiasm I love to hear. Let me just hop over here and take some quick measurements. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Eh, huh? what? Now comes the fun part. The machine is ready to scan your brainwaves. Please enter. Okay. I'm just gonna do a quick save because I'm I, I am a compulsive saver. Please keep still during the scan, otherwise you might lose an arm. Or worse, damage my machine! Ha ha ha! Um what? Alright, let's do this thing. Analysis commence! Can, can, we, can we back up about, the, about, about, this, about, about this whole losing an arm thing? We'll now ask you a series of questions while the machine measures your brain activity. Okay. Question one. You encounter a wild Coromon. What is your first reaction? Attack. See what it does. Capture it. Um. I guess capture it. Because, like, you can see what it does after you capture it. So. I see. I would do that, too. Question two. What is your motivation for becoming a battle researcher? Protect Melo's environment? Tame the strongest Coromon? Want to earn a good living? I mean... Taming the strongest Coromon is pretty is, is pretty much on point. Earning a good living is nice, and then of course you have you have the the the, the feel good option. Let's go with the strongest. 
I want to be the very best, and, and so on and so forth. That's a good motivation right there. Which of three? Which of these three attacks appeals the most? Inner peace, fire breath, or toughen up? I mean, fire breath. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a monster. I feel like I'm, I'm obligated, right? Not my favorite, but let's continue. Which of four? Which of these colors appeal to you the most? Crimson red, arctic blue, navy blue. I mean, again, like, look, you, you see how I'm dressed? That's the same color as my living room. Wait, what? It is? Seems bright. The final question, describe your ideal first date. Oh my. Oh my, so personal. Uh, museum tour, skydiving, candlelit dinner. I mean, I feel like candlelit dinner is like the expected answer. Skydiving is like a bucket list thing. Like, you know, like sure I'd do it, but like I probably would, ex would be terrified out of my mind. Uh, honestly, call me boring. I, I, I like museums, don't judge me. I, I, I do. Uh, so romantic. Well done, watch your step. That wasn't so hard now, was it? I guess not. Piece of cake. Fantastic. You must be excited to hear the results. Stay in front of the hatches when you're ready. Oh, okay, cool. Here are your options. So, does it actually, like, change what, what Coromon you have? That's that's neat. Oh. Now it's like the fire Coromon, Toruga. This Coromon is very strong, loves to battle, and can learn powerful moves. Nibblegar, a water-type Coromon. This Coromon has high endurance in battles and is able to outlast most other Coromon. Oh, And finally, the Ice Coromon, Cub Zero. Ha, <laughs> nice. D -d -d Does he ever say, get, you know, get over here? No, that's Scorpion, sorry. But anyway. This Coromon is a jack of all trades. The perfect balance between offense and defense. And now, the results of your analysis. The algorithm points to one clear winner. The Fire Coromon, Toruga, would be a good match for you. I want to take a closer look, though. Trust your instincts and pick the one you like the most. So I so I guess I guess it's the same three choices every time, but like the algorithm kind of gives you an idea of like which one the, the game thinks you would like, I suppose. For all, from what we saw in the book, water is a pretty offensive type, despite it being a defensive creature, apparently. Whereas fire here probably is the most straightforward. Let's check it out, though. The attack focus Toruga will, will be an unstoppable team. Oh, uh, database. Standard, potent, and perfect. Oh, they, 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 they mentioned perfect, per, uh, perfect before, didn't they? Interesting. I wonder where we find those. Turuga had had to adapt by growing stronger, just uh, by growing stronger jaws since their heads grew too big to fit their shell. Whoops. <laughs> Mount Muspel. Oh, like like uh, Muspelheim uh, in Norse mythology. Cool. Uh, vegetarian, thick skin, steam layer, gourmand. Are those like? I, I guess those are like abilities. I, I, I can't like get down them and it's, uh, what. Can I, can I click on them? No. So I can't tell what those are from here. Oh, well. Uh, HP is red. Is it always red, or is it just for this one? Yeah, okay, it's just it's just, it's just red. Uh, speed, attack, defense. So it looks like it's got a higher special attack uh, and speed. Other things kind of vary a little bit, but it seems to be a mostly special attack-oriented creature. Cool. Cub Zero. Oh. Little, little snowball bear. Cub Zero cover their body in a thick layer of snow to stay warm throughout the whole year. Freesia Pass. Stoic, Sharp Claw. Oh, I see. So uh, they must... Um, what I'm wondering is, is if those indicate... Because like, they're kind of matched to how, 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 how big the... How big the word is. But I'm wondering if, if, if like that indicates like how likely they are to get the ability. Or if it's just like different, different, different ones they can get. I don't know. Um, definitely a higher attacks and defense stat, but like like uh, he was saying, they're all pretty much balanced. And then Nibblegar is defense, yeah, definitely defensive. Although, although it's it's uh, offensive stats really actually aren't 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 lacking of it much either. Oh look at him! He's a little shark dude. Oh, he's cute. I like him. Nibblegar's ring is known to be extremely important to them. No Nibblegar has ever seen without one. Oh. Submerged tunnels and and ik, ik, ikskun ishkun ish, I'm not trying to pronounce that. Vigilant, super sensory, fully rested in wet coat. Huh? But if they, if each one of them has like four different abilities, then we, I guess we'll have to see which one which one we got here. Um, 
Health 20, attack 11. So pretty much what we saw. Special attack is, is highest. Potential standard. Type fire. Spinner. Slam, cute pose. Not holding anything. Thick skin. Makes it immune to critical hits. Ooh. I mean, for an offensive Coromon, that's quite useful. What about Nibblegar? <laughs> it says its name. Nibblegar. <laughs> it's cute. Man, like, I, I want to take the fire one, but the, sh the, the little shark dude's kind of winning me over. That's cute. Uh, chomp and Mighty Roar. Super Sensory. Raises its most proficient stat whenever, whenever one of its other stats is lowered. Oh. So if, you, so if you try and debuff it, it gets stronger in its most uh, most powerful area. Which probably which is probably defense, in fairness, but still. And then you... Scratch and Cute Pose. Clumsy power. Increase the user's attack and special attack by 25%, but reduce accuracy by 10%. So it's, it's like it's like hustle. Okay. I mean, that's it's not terrible, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, I, I, I can just thumb through them. Look at me. I, I can just do this the whole time. Whoops. <laughs> uh, slam and cute pose. Chomp and mighty roar. Scratch and cute. Okay, well, what's the difference? Uh, chomp is a foul move. Power 40, accuracy 100, category physical. 10% um, chance to make target bleed. Ooh, bleed is a thing. And Mighty Roar decreases the attack of an, of an opposing team by one stage. So it's 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 it's, it's growl. Oh, and uh, you can see the, the the other moves too. Water, normal. Oh, and the type. Yeah, water, normal. Water, normal. Foul. Water, water. Heavy. Water. Cool. It's it's neat being able to see see ahead too. That's that's that's, that's, that's a nice touch. What about our, our our turtle friend here? Slam. Um, basically tackle. It's a normal move. Cute pose. Lowers defense. So like, 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 uh, tail whip. Okay. Fire. 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 Sand. Fire. Sand. Fire. Fire. Heavy. Fire. Okay. Although I am curious, actually. Is, 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 is it the same heavy move, you think? Because, like, this is heavy physical. Then for Nibblegar, it was... Heavy, yeah. So it might be the same move. I don't know what it is, but it might be. And then for you, you have scratch. Twenty percent. Oh, has a twenty percent increased crit chance. Ooh, and it's cut damage. Okay. And then normal ice, electric, normal water, ice, normal ice, normal ice, ice. Huh. So it picks up a, uh, some some different types there. Part of me really wants to take Nibblegar, honestly. Like I know we're supposed to, we're supposed to like keep on with this like this, this like this like red theme thing and grab Taruga for like the Fire Turtle and that, and that like I kind of kind of do want to do that. But Nibblegar is just is just cool. It is nice though that it does seem like all of them are available. Like in in the database, it does mention other places you can catch them. So it does seem like no matter what what, what we pick, we can't get the other one later. So I guess we'll go with Taruga for now, and we'll. Just have to make sure we get ourselves a Nibblegar later on. Uh, nickname. I'm bad at nicknames, frankly. But if you guys have any any ideas, do let me know in the comments, and we'll see if uh, any of them if any of them stand out. We might just pick one. For now, Taruga. The, 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 the algorithm never lies. Your Taruga it seems to have the thick skin trait. Very useful indeed. But you won't get far out there with just one Coromon. Take this powder bit for extra protection. Oh, I get two. Patterbit, join the squad. I don't know what a Patterbit is, but we'll find out in a minute. No, actually, what wasn't wasn't one of the wasn't one of the gloves Patterbit green too? Now that you've got your core on, let's give that data chip of yours a test run. Okay, I'll activate your Luxcall RC to take us to the battlegrounds. Hold on. Oh, teleporting. Poof, we're here now. What's up? Here we are. You prepared for your first battle? We're gonna battle, but aren't you an expert? Oh, don't worry. It'll be a fair fight. I brought my Nibblegar, which is the same level as your as your Taruga. Helpful tip: If you hold down your on your skills, you'll get, you'll get a detailed overview of their effects. You should try it out if you ever confused with, with with what a skill does. Good luck, Coromat. Give it your all. Ready? Let's jam! Oh, look, 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 that okay? That, that explains what explains why, why they're called spinners. You literally just throw them in. That's cool. The music is cool too, actually. Um, you can check out Nibblegar. There are different combat stages, what it's weak to. Nice! 
So it takes reduced damage from fire, but we don't have any fire right now anyway, so... And us, we're weak to water, so... But well, let's go to world. Oh, actually, let's see what, what this pat pattern bit thing is, too. What we got? It's like a... A gecko, sorta? Like, like, like a Mission Impossible gecko. Crossed with a Ninja Turtle, or something. It's, uh... What are you? Normal type. Okay. Slam and feelers? Find the weak point of your opponent. The next attack on the target does two and a half times as much damage, but, can, but cannot, be a, cannot be a crit. Huh. Neat. Uh, robber. Suppose go to the victor. Steal 50% more gold when defeating a trainer. Cool. I mean, it's, yeah, all right. I wonder if um, if Coromon get like like a, a same type bonus when using moves of the same type as themselves. Because that would make Patterbit a fair bit stronger. Because both of its moves are are, uh, are uh, normal. Mm. Well, let's just stick with our with our main guy for now. Uh, I don't know if, if, if this if this Nibelgar has the same ability as the one we saw, because then lowering its stats would just make it stronger. So let's just hit it, I guess. Fully rested. Nibelgar is fully rested, and so it takes less damage. Did that say? Oh, there's the teeth. There we go. Hey, a crit! Nice! Mighty Roar! Oh no! <laughs> well, that'll lower our attack, which is not exactly fantastic. I guess we can try a cute pose? Let's see. Defense decreased. Okay, so it didn't it didn't seem to proc the, uh, its ability, so I guess we're in the clear. Let's try another slam. Chomp again. Better get this done soon. Oh no, we're bleeding. Oh no. Oh, one health left. Another crit. Sweet. We're bleeding as well. Okay, so it does like like a like a, a bit of damage with each turn. We got this though. That's cool. Oh. Look at some of its potential. Oh, you can. Okay, cool. So you you, you can like assign stats or if you want. That's cool. I like that a lot actually. All right. Well, until I get a better feel for what for what Taruga is gonna be good with, I'm gonna postpone, I guess. But we'll come back to that. Level six. Yay. Gained one SP, one HP, two speed, one attack, one defense, one special attack, and one special defense. And learn Cinder. Launch a small burning Cinder at the target with a 10% chance to burn. Sweet. Milestone achieved! Cormac defeated Nelson. Impressive! You got some money for winning. Sweet! Well done. You and your Cormac are going to make quite a team. I just know it. Remember that you can visit a trainer hub at any time to restore your squad back to full health. Thanks for the tip. Am I ready to catch some Cormac on my own now? Absolutely! You can start by exploring Radiant Park. I'm on it. Wait! There's one more thing! Oh, oh. I advise you not to pass the bridge yet. The Cormon past that point are generally less beginner friendly. Larry from the R&D lab can hook you up with a gauntlet module to keep you safe. You can find the lab in Radiant Park. Best of luck, Cormat. I'll, I'll bit the Cormon lab if you need me. Shine bright. Sweet. Cool. Uh, oh, what's that? It's oh, it's a, okay. So they're they're like uh, item boxes. Neat. I think my supervisor noticed my talent. Don't you agree? I don't know. I haven't seen you fight. Cool. All right. Well, so far I'm actually kind of charmed. This game is like the the, the the animations are nice, the the artwork is, is clean. Like it all looks pretty good. Ooh, here we go. Good luck to all new colleagues. Yay. So this is this is this is the uh, Pokemon Center. They didn't call it that, but it's what it is. Man, one more encounter and my Cormac would have fainted. I should really visit a trainer hubs more often. Sorry, trainer hub. That's that's the word. Self care is important. Important for everyone and everything. He's not wrong. This is, must be where you, uh, yeah. Cormon storage, cool. Hey you, see that machine to your right? That's Cormon storage machine. Whenever I feel like subbing out a member of my squad, that's where I go. Cool, oh, hello. Welcome to the trainer hub. Would you like to take care of your Cormon? Yes, please. Ooh. Machine looks cool too, I gotta say. So 
this is your first visit to a trainer hub, don't forget to visit our other floors to experience our additional online and offline services. Shine bright. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I gotta say, that's pretty cool so far. I'm gonna stay right here, you guys, and I hope that you've been enjoying so far. I'm pretty keen to actually keep on playing this. I might do uh, another, few, another episode or two before, before my, my uh, motivation gives out on me. Um, but uh, do let me know if we have any nicknames in mind for our Taruga or our um, Patterbit. Because we have two Cormon so far. We're gonna head out into the... Um, what do you call it? The, the Radiant radiant Woods, was it? Oh my. Uh, this, this here. Hello? 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 No, okay. Alright, well, I guess, I guess, I guess we'll, 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 we'll see soon enough anyway. Um, but we're going into the next area next time to see 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 what all we can find. So hopefully you'll you'll uh, join me. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great uh, have yourself a great day, rest of your day. And be sure to stay monstrous, like the game says. Shine bright. And for now, a monster mad out. Bye bye.